Welcome everyone to the show. My name is Jeff. Today here on Candy Isle, we have a review of Maynard's Juicy Squirts Berry. That's right. Do you need some more juicy squirts in your life? Well, here you go. Oh, it just doesn't sound quite right, does it? Oh, boy, oh boy. Maynard's is back. Yes, that's right. The company you know and love behind Sour Patch Kids, Fuzzy Peaches, Sour Cherry Blasters, and Swedish Berries is back again with the Juicy Squirts Berry. Uh, so what this basically is, is it's a gummy with, um, <clears throat> you know, like a, like a squirty liquid kind of inside, like Gushers style, right? Um, I don't know if but the branding, the name, like obviously the design work is impeccable as always with Maynard's. I mean, maybe, maybe not a five out of five, maybe a four out of five. Like what's going on here? What did someone, someone put a straw in here to like, to like let the squirts squirt out or something? I, I don't know. It's also a two in one, right? Like it's a two flavor in one. So like, yeah, I'll just show you on the back here. It's here's the deal guys. It's uh, you got you got the two flavors. So you got strawberry uh, kiwi. So you got strawberry kiwi here. So it's a strawberry gummy with kiwi, with a kiwi squirt. Uh, what's that? Cherry and uh, cherry berry. Is that what that says? Okay. Uh, and then a peach and a strawberry. Is getting that. Why am I trying to read it through the peach raspberry? I'm trying to read it through the camera lens here. And uh, then this one is a grape. Stay still, you. Great punch. <sighs> the writing and it's getting it's getting so small, you know, I'm getting old. Anyway, uh, show some love for Juicy Squirts Berry on our Facebook page. Go ahead and do that if you want, I guess. Um, en Francais, that's what you got there. Yada, 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 imported by Mondelez, Canada. Okay, Maynard's. Maynard's obviously was purchased by Cadbury years ago, which is part of the Kraft Mondelez, you know, family. Um, You know, it is what it is, guys. This product or version of this product has been available a long time. I honestly have never had it, but it's been available on shelves in one form or another since at least 2008. Yeah, yeah, that's a long time. <laughs> um, <laughs> I know for a while there was a Juicy Squirts Sour, uh, but that I do not believe exists anymore. Um so this is the berry version. Uh, usually you would have a berry as a secondary skew, right? Like the first skew is um, like just an original. But uh, you, know, I could smell this, by the way, from outside the bag with the bag closed. Whew. It's like, uh, it's like, oh my God, it's so strong flavor. <laughs> it's so strong smelling. All right. So... Never had these, like I said. Well, lots of red. Oh, I'll lose them. Lots of reds here. Um, man. Oh, wait. So it's red. Isn't that... That looks like a... the. No, that's the cherry, obviously. Right? There it is on the packaging. Okay, so you got the cherry. You've got the peach. They look like him, you know. You've got the grape. Um... The grape punch, right? And then the strawberry. Strawberry. There's the strawberry. Yeah, I guess there's a lot of reds because there's both strawberry and cherry, right? And then there's the strawberry. So you got your flavors. Well, not so many grapes in there. I guess there's a, probably more in the bag. There is there is a lot in this bag. They did a, it's like only half empty. They did a good job filling it up, that's for sure. Um, like Maynard's, you don't, you don't, you know, you don't fault them on skimpiness. Oh, some of these are kind of sticky. Like the, like some of the juice has started to like leak out a little bit. I'm, I'm not seeing any visible sort of stains from them, but 
Let's go ahead and try the, um, you know, what do you call it? The strawberry one first, okay? I'm just going to eat the whole thing because I'm just going to make a mess if I don't. Uh-huh. Strawberry kiwi, right? No, oh, I ripped right in half. Doesn't matter. Couldn't read that anyway. It's strawberry kiwi. That was weird. And, um, not altogether great. You kind of like it's translucent, right? You can kind of see. Can you guys see that? Like when the lights sort of shining through it, that that's the pocket of, uh, you know, goo or whatever. There it is. It's like a hollow. Doesn't look that appealing, does it? There's the juicy squirt. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I mean, I guess you're going to remember the name, but like, that doesn't look super appealing to me. It's just, I think I've got marker on my thumb. Cleaning up after the kids, you know? Oh, well. Um, the, uh, surprisingly, because this is Maynard's, and they're like, you know, they're known for pretty high quality. The gummy is like problematic. Maybe it's because they've um, had to, you know, incorporate the cavity in the middle. It doesn't taste quite right. There's like... Um, a texture so is it about it's not about texture it's about it's not it's not enough gummy it's like it's like it's like a okay hear me out you know how a gummy can sometimes have kind of like it's like that outside layer that's been exposed to air is like a little harder than the interior of the gummy do you know what i mean so imagine that this is what's happening in my mouth. In, I'm trying to explain, I think, is that there's a, the second layer that's been exposed to air that's the inside layer. And so the actual like gooey, juicy, gummy part that is good, that Maynard's, you know, excels at, there's not much of it. There's a lot more surface, like surface area that's exposed to air. Um, and so it doesn't, uh, it doesn't chew the right way. Like it doesn't, it doesn't, it does, it just doesn't chew the right way. There's not an, there's not enough interior gummy to um, make it good. And then the flavor of the, um, of the, the, you know, the kiwi squirt, it didn't stand out to me at all. Um, like it didn't taste solely like a strawberry, um, but it didn't, I wouldn't, I, like if no one, if you didn't tell me, I would never have picked up that that was a kiwi flavor. So, yeah, um, unsuccessful on many counts. <laughs> Let's try the cherry. Oh. It's, it's almost like a texture thing. Maybe it is a texture thing. Is there another strawberry here? No. Again, the cherry flavor is predominant. Uh, what's what was it again it was like cherry blast or something i don't know what it is i don't real i don't taste in it, another flavor here it's like cherry berry or something no, i'm not digging it squirt Oh, so juicy. Not, I'm not really digging that. It's actually better than the strawberry. However, I don't feel like that's saying a ton. It's, a, it's mainly the texture thing. This thing I'm trying to explain. Where it doesn't chew right, the gummy part of it. 
There's nothing really wrong with the gusher part of it, the, the center part, the, the liquid part, the squirt, <laughs> if you will. But it's um, it's not very flavorful, and there's not actually that much of it. Despite the cavity for it being pretty big, at least in both of those cases. And the flavor of the gummy is okay, it's uh, but it's just the way it chews. Like if these were just straight strawberry, cherry, peach, grape, I think they'd be okay. Hmm. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. That flavor combo doesn't work, whatever it is. Peach and, um, I don't know, man, strawberry, whatever it was. Not good. That's bad. That's that's the worst of them. Uh, okay, let's try the uh, grape. Mm. That's a good grape flavor. It's like this. It's like the the squirt is like an accent flavor, but hardly a um, a distinguishing characteristic. Hmm. Interesting. This one's okay. Yeah, this one's okay. the The flavor's the flavor's pretty good. Um, and it's so big. I wonder if maybe that helps it with this texture problem that I was, you know, pointing out. I like. I certainly certainly like the design work on all of these. Like, you know, Maynard's knows what they're doing in terms of like packaging. Um. And squirt. <laughs> boy, oh boy. Hope you're enjoying those juicy squirts. Okay, well. Did you ever, did you ever like, did you ever, did you ever wonder, like, is a cherry a berry? I guess, I guess it is, isn't it? Is it kind of a berry? It's more like a fruit, right? A peach is definitely not a berry. I don't know really what defines a berry. Okay, sorry. Uh, you know, sidetrack, but... Okay, grape's okay. Flavor-wise, cherry's okay. Um, Texture-wise, they're all bad. It's, it, the best one being the grape. Um, but this doesn't work. Basically, this just doesn't work. This is, um, this is not a good product. <laughs> I cannot recommend this. Sorry, Maynards. I, you know, I love you. You know, a huge fan of Swedish fish, but, uh, and, and Sour Patch Kids, of course, but like, no, 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 no. Walk in the candy aisle rates. Maynards, juicy squirts, berry. Uh, I'm going to rate it a one out of five. Don't get this, guys. There are better Maynard's products on the market. Go get some fuzzy peaches. Remember, when was the last time you had fuzzy peaches? Those things are great. Remember how much you love those? Go get those. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. Um, I hope you're having a great day. Go <laughs> avoid the juicy squirts. Okay, <laughs> so long. Bye.